getting the most they can for the least amount of effort. The way a parasite does. What is a parasite? Let's take the lowly tick. It burrows under your skin and sucks your blood. All it has to do in order to get that blood, that nourishment, that long-term nourishment is to hang on. So that's what women do with us men. They hang on as long as they can until they're satiated, until they're fully satisfied. And they do so. The way women do it now is they start with a lie, they keep telling the lie, then they get to the end of everything to the point where they have what they want and they're going to get what they want. And then they stop the relationship. They stop saying, I love you. They stop respecting you. They stop treating you with any sense of goodness. Right? They start by pretending to be good and then they slowly wean you off of it. And then when they get to the very end, they jump ship and they try and sink the ship they were on. And so I don't think it's just about destroying men. I think it's about their selfishness and their materialism. Right? They want to be our equal, but they're not doing it the way we do. That's the lie. Women are liars. Women are liars. They only worry about themselves. I mean, what do you guys think of that? I can't wait to read the fucking comments on this one. I mean, good God. They fucking lie from the beginning. They lie to themselves. They lie to us. And the truth comes out in their behavior, which is consistent, as I've said. Doesn't matter whether the girls are black, Mexican, white, or Asian. Did I miss any groups? <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Oof, good scotch. Whether they're from my mother's generation, from mine, or from generation uh, millennial they're all the same and they're getting worse they're actually becoming more blatant about it right they're begging men now to take them in some cases because men are wising up and as soon as they get you to listen then they come after you then they start with the same old shit guilt and shame it's the same shit the bluff. I did a video on bluffing. I thought it was a great video. Your guys' response to it was great. But it has to do with them lying. A bluff is a lie. right? By telling you, hey, you go sleep on the couch. And you call their bluff and say, no, 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 I'm not sleeping on the couch. You go out the fucking door. Right? And they say, oh, that's it, I'm leaving you. You should pull the car over right there and kick their fucking ass out. Good, get the fuck out. They start with the lie, though. And they push us and push us and push us and then destroy us. And it's not just men. They do it to government. Any, any entity that has money and they can get it from them, they will do it. And it doesn't, I mean, it's not, it's not even an American problem. Right? And I know our good brothers down there in Australia and up in Canada and over in England and Germany and parts of Europe, they're all suffering from the same the same sickness that women bring. And it starts with lying, being dishonest. In my video on women being immoral, I think it was spot on. It got a great response as well. And once again, I thank you guys. Thank you for supporting this channel with uh, uh, your comments and viewing and by sharing it. Uh, and also by supporting me personally. I've enjoyed these cigars, right? It makes me, when I'm at work, I'm like, man, I can't wait to get home, have a cigar and a scotch, talk to you guys. Or in the morning, I wake up and I'm like, fuck, I gotta talk about this idea. So I sit on the couch with a cup of coffee and bring these ideas out to talk about them. But if we as men recognize that the women, the woman's words that we hear are a lie, right? We've got them. We've got them by the fucking short hairs, right? Like Trump, we got him by the pussy. <laughs> oh, man, good stuff. Right? Grab him by the pussy. You know, and I've decided to do these videos. I've decided to come out in the open. This is my face from video one because I'm not afraid of them. The worst they can do is cost me one of my jobs. Right? But I'm still valuable. 
And there are a number of companies that would hire my ass in a fucking heartbeat. I would much, ra much rather make a living on YouTube videos, but it doesn't make a living. <laughs> right? But it does... It does give me a voice that I would otherwise not have. And it does the same thing for you, whether you're a video producer or not. By commenting on here, you are making a statement, whether you're anonymous or whether people know who you are, as in you use your real name. You are calling feminism out. You're calling the social agenda out by exposing it. And by calling them liars and seeing them as liars from the very beginning. Right? You're helping. What else can we do? Fuck, what else are you going to do? You know, I don't want to put down red pill guys. I don't want to put down purple pill guys or blue pill guys. We're all just seeing this from a different perspective. You younger guys out there who haven't been fucked yet, right? And you're MGTOW, you've got a clear advantage. You should be very pleased that you're in that position. Us older guys that are divorced, Fuck, we've lived it, man. We've felt the pain. Some guys more than once. But this is the system we got to live with. Women lie to you all the time. And you've got to know it. No longer can you trust them. It was always a mistake to trust women. To believe that what they're saying is genuine. We should have never given them that. Right? That is making them our equals. Because men can be honest with other men. When they don't, we cut them the fuck off, right? If you've got a friend who isn't honest with you, who tries stealing your shit, what do you do? You fucking out them and throw them the fuck out of your life. Why do women get a pass? Government has no problem giving women all this free money. Why? Because it's not their fucking money. They come and get money from us. You, the taxpayer. And then they give it out to women and go, yeah, 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 you've had it rough. Boy, you know, we're going to have to retire you early and give you all kinds of money. That's the system that we're dealing with. One of the reasons, one of the reasons I say we should take the fight to them is because if you do not in some way start fighting against feminism, fighting against these gold digging whores, you will be consumed by them, like it or not. Because the more you pay in taxes, the more you give to them. Because women are migrating from using men to using government in a greater sense, in a greater capacity. Mark my words. When they can go to the government and ask and demand for things, government comes to you to pay the bill. The same way women decided they wanted divorces and that they could leave men and then demand men continue to pay for their lives, pay for their standard of living that they become accustomed to, and claim that they, are, uh, that they should share in what you have become as a man and claim that they own half of it. Not only half of it up to the point of the divorce, but afterwards. And they're gonna get government to give them more and more and more. Let's talk about healthcare, for example, while I'm on the fucking rant. And by the way, it's raining lightly and my cigar went out. Fuck. <laughs> right. Women cost more. They're like an Italian sports car. They look really good, they sound good, they perform nice, and they break down a lot. They don't last that long, right? Their fenders start falling off, to, to follow that analogy, right? So healthcare, what do we have now, right? We've got Obamacare, and that is government subsidized, subsidized medica medicine, medical care, whatever you want to call it. And I have to pay more than women one of the big promises that Hillary and others made, and Obama himself, is that women wouldn't be charged more than men, even though women cost far more than men. Far more. That is a way that government gives to women 
and they take more from you to pay for them. Do you think it ends with health care? Do you think it ends with divorce court? It's only going to get worse. So we as men, we as MGTOW need to stand up in more numbers and continue to cooperate with each other. Spread the word to other men, old, middle-aged, young, and expose this great lie that women really care, that women are going to do the job. When they get married, they're supposed to promise to love and support through sickness and health, blah, 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 blah. But they don't. The same way they take that job from the government and say, yeah, I'll work 20, 25, 30 years for the government as long as I get some sort of benefit at the end. And then they push to be retired out early. Right? They demand to be paid while they go on maternal leave. They demand above and beyond what they earn they always want more and they always give less. And now the government is starting to give that to them more and more often. Are you going to contribute to that? Are you going to play that game and just let them get away with it? So it's my belief that ultimately we cannot hide from them. We cannot just deny them our money. Because as we deny women more and more as MGTOW, as more and more men become MGTOW, as culture and society changes, women will lean more and more on government for us to pay for them. That is what this is about. So I am not only looking short term, I'm looking long at the problem. I'm not only looking at myself personally, how do I defend and protect myself, but I look and see what is happening to all men. All men. And last night, uh, I was in a heated discussion debate about my sons and what they're going to have to face. One is 15, the other is 17. One's a sophomore, the other's a senior in high school. And they're going to go out into the world and there are going to be women, vampires, ready and willing to lie in order to get into their wallets and get into their lives. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. And I'm relying and counting on you guys to continue to develop and understanding with me and other MGTOW producers, not only the problem, but to start finding solutions that we can do, that we can implement for ourselves and for all men. This truly is a battle of the sexes. It truly is. All right, guys, uh, it's getting dark, obviously, and uh, I want to say thank you again. Thank you for watching, for subscribing, for funding me through the support, you know, for clicking on my videos and all MGTOW videos and for giving us all a big fat thumbs up. Every video, every MGTOW producer, step up and hit that share button. Tell every man you know, get out there and encourage them to be men. The same way I encourage on this channel. I want to educate, I want to share, and I want to encourage men to be men. To not be ashamed of being men. Never be ashamed. Never apologize for being a man. That is key to their lie. That you owe them. right? And it's your fault. It's not. It's their fault for being indoctrinated and accepting the lie. Alright, more on this later. You guys are awesome. Remember, wake up, look in the mirror. I have the penis. You go out and make it happen. And then once you've got yourself centered and you're strong in yourself, then you can look out and start affecting the world around you. I'll see you guys later. Semper Fi.